yeheni yeheni nam kelekile kweli kapa lo koko welcome to the mother city of south africa welcome to the western cape welcome to the land of opportunities nyathelani nathi kula madlelo aluhlaza get a taste of the quality and the diversity of our produce catch a glimpse of our natural environment and our people as you join us on our journey through fertile lands where unique opportunities await you This is the place where the Dutch, the French and the British fought mighty storms to seek an invaluable midway point to replenish and restore their ships en route to India. The place where the first human heart transplant was performed. When Nelson Mandela made his first public speech heralding the beginning of a new era for South Africa. This is the Cape of Good Hope. In 2004 The UNESCO's World Heritage Committee proclaimed the Cape Floral Kingdom's outstanding universal significance to humanity. The South African flora has also been awarded 31 gold medals at the world-famous Chelsea Flower Show held in England, represented mainly by Fynbos species. And there's more. The public worldwide has recently chosen Table Mountain as one of the new seven natural wonders of the world following a 3-year global race. But the Western Cape is not only known for its fascinating history and its natural beauty. Let's embark together on a fruitful journey around its agricultural industries. The Western Cape has two main climatic regions: Mediterranean on the coast and semi-desert inland. They are scattered with unique microclimates which along with rich soil and topographical conditions partly explain such a varied and prolific agricultural sector. The area has a rich farming history and the oldest and best established farms in South Africa are still situated here. Today, the Western Cape accounts to up to 50% of total fruit exports in South Africa, the second largest exporter in the world. Our counter seasonality to Europe, our primary export market is a major competitive advantage. Northeast of Cape Town, you will find the Ceres Valley, named after the goddess of agriculture. This extremely fertile piece of land is a major producer of many of South Africa's deciduous fruit, such as peaches, nectarines, apricots, pears, and cherries. Other valleys in the region also specialize in deciduous fruit. such as the Apple Valley with its heart in the small town of Krabo or the Hex River Valley producer of fine table grapes further inland in the semi desert area named Little Karoo a bright future is also predicted for growers of the alternative pomegranates and in the soft fruit field international demand for berries far outstrips supply the labor intensive nature of the berry farming sector is an opportunity to fulfill a social agenda with a sustainable commercial venture which could also be oriented towards agritourism a large proportion of fruits are exported whilst others are juiced and optionally fermented additionally south african sun and technology combined present excellent conditions for drying grapes and other fruit the first wine estate khruat constantia was founded almost 350 years ago and today South Africa is the sixth largest wine producer in the world. The Western Cape's favorable climatic and soil conditions make it home to most of the wineries, accounting for around 90% of the country's production. Given the low production costs in the Western Cape, this sector is very attractive and produces fine quality wine competing with the world's best. Wine tourism is also on the increase as almost half of the tourists to the country visit the wine lands. Some of them visit the world's longest wine route, Route 62, which meanders through the province's magnificent landscapes. Consequently, our wine industry indirectly contributes more than 3.5 billion rand annually to the tourism industry. A huge market exists for olives and olive oil. Over 90% of South Africa's olive oil production is situated in the Western Cape. 
Although the industry doubles in size every five years, research shows that local producers only meet a quarter of the domestic demand for olive oil. Of South Africa's nine provinces, the Western Cape is the bread basket representing half of the country's wheat field. Widespread canola fields offer great opportunities for expansion as there is a huge demand for canola oil and the seeds are a favored form of protein for animal feed. The Sandfeld region on the west coast is known as South Africa's potato pantry. Gem squash, butternut and sweet potato are also highly consumed locally. Cereals and hardy varieties of vegetables are massively exported to the neighboring Southern African development community, SADC, and exports are increasing to the rest of the continent. The Karoo region and the Overberg produce wool and mutton, as well as Merino sheep pedigree breeding stock. The certified Karoo meat of origin mark guarantees the flavor and quality of Karoo meat thanks to a strict protocol of feeding programs and free-range rearing practices. The Western Cape is the only province exporting meat, fine leatherware and feathers from the indigenous ostrich. Other indigenous species such as Chemsbok, Kudu or Blo Wildebeest are also farmed locally for livestock and for safari tourism. The low cholesterol and calorie levels of game meat combined with high protein content have made it a highly desirable alternative to other red meats in the modern health-conscious age. Have you tasted our traditional biltong and burovos, which are on the way to becoming delicacies around the world? Other more classical animal products presenting growth in the area include broiler chickens, eggs, dairy products, beef and pork. The province is one of two key dairy producing areas within South Africa. In addition to cow's milk products, opportunities exist in organic and probiotic products, goat and sheep based cheeses and yogurts with the possibility for firms to export into various international markets. Lastly, thanks to the access to the warm Mozambique current along the south coast and the cold Benguela current to the west, 40% of South Africa's aquaculture producers are situated here. But supply still does not satisfy the national demand for species such as trout, finfish, mussels, oysters or lobster. As for exports, abalone mollusks have the largest share in the Western Cape as the meat is considered a delicacy in most parts of the world. Throughout all these production and transformation processes, social responsibility is a key factor, which contributes to the three-dimensional people, planet and profit. For example, in 2006, a group of previously disadvantaged farmers started work on the Napir townlands. Today, the group has succeeded in buying two additional farms and machinery plus extended their cattle and sheep herds. And since their first year of business, they have donated between 10 and 20% of their yearly profits to schools, churches or welfare organizations within their community. Not only are the people of this beautiful land now picking the fruit of their labor, they are competing against the best and winning. By 2050, the world's population will have exceeded 9 billion. To feed this larger, more urban and richer population, international indicators show that food production of cereal and meat particularly should increase by an exorbitant 70%. In order for this to happen, technology has become an integral part of agriculture. Cutting edge technology in the Western Cape helps build diversified value chains, both for mature and for upcoming industries. Significant food processing activity exists in areas such as cereal and grain milling, juicing, canning, pulping or drying of fruits, poultry and meat products, fish and seafood, dairy and many more. Research combined with technology continuously helps to improve soil, waste, energy and water management practices and to promote the environment-friendly pest and disease management. The Berg River Water Project, for example, was undertaken to augment the water supply of the Greater Cape Town metropolitan area. This 62-meter-high dam has introduced significant achievements, such as the preservation of the associated ecological reserve and the empowerment of local communities by sourcing skills and services locally. 
it has received four major awards to date. Today, environmentally sustainable practices are an integral part of all business plans. Indeed, a prosperous future for humanity starts with a green and healthy planet Earth. The world is divided into six floral kingdoms, which encompass several countries and in some cases, several continents. South Africa is the one exception. The Cape Floral Kingdom is almost wholly contained within one single province. It has about 9,000 plant species, 68% of which are not found anywhere else in the world. Its main biome, called Feinbos, represents a major component of South Africa's wildflower export. The recently emerged essential oils industry is already exporting to developed economies like Europe, the US and Japan for use in healthcare and cosmetic products as well as in food and drink flavorants. The most significant essential oils produced in the Western Cape are eucalyptus, citrus and the indigenous buhu and geranium locally known as malfa. Buhu may look like an ordinary shrub but is in fact the world's first documented natural anti-inflammatory. With the trend of global health consciousness, the popularity and demand of completely natural herbal teas are also on the increase. Traditionally, they were harvested from the wild in the Feinbos areas and cultivated by smallholder farmers in their natural habitat at a later stage. But more recently, the expansion of commercial farming has shown that the species can adapt to broader geographical areas. Rooibos, buhu, and honeybush are caffeine-free, which is why health-aware consumers prefer them to traditional tea. As for honeybush, demand for tea is far greater than supply, and extracts are also being used more frequently in the fast-growing cosmetic industry. All the industries that we have introduced offer strong and extended value chains contained within the Western Cape. Your company could become a new link in any one of these chains, whether you prefer to establish a greenfield investment or enter a joint venture. In both cases, you will experience the passion of our agricultural sector to be a world leader, not only in production, but also in research, technology, sustainability and community upliftment. South Africa boasts a record for attracting major foreign investors from Europe, America, Asia, and the rest of Africa in numerous business sectors and across a variety of business function. Major international players already have their own investments in the Western Cape agri-sector. It is a wise decision taken after analyzing positive indicators such as a world standard tertiary education, a culturally diverse population, a young, trainable workforce, a solid infrastructure with good governance and sound and globally competitive financial institutions. Furthermore, South Africa is ranked within the top three in the world, both for protection of investor intellectual property and for corporate access to credit. In addition to mainstay agricultural products such as fruit and vegetables, cereals, meat or flowers, in recent years, high-value niche products in a range of areas such as spices and sauces, confectionery, olive oils and indigenous teas have developed, drawing on the growing purchasing power, lifestyle, multiculturalism and the high awareness of international trends in the Western Cape. The area offers competitive advantages in terms of proximity to a large urban consumer market, high tourism revenues, links with large retailer distribution systems, world-class design capabilities, and dynamic entrepreneurship. Agribusiness International Summits, held in the Western Cape, offer a great platform for introducing brands and to gain a footprint in the region and in the rest of Africa. In recognitions of its capabilities and its infrastructural achievements, Cape Town was elected World Design Capital for year 2014. And indeed, the region has excellent logistics and communications with a world-class port, numerous rail and road links, as well as regular air freight connections to major cities in Southern Africa and abroad. The Western Cape agriculture 
has abundant harvests and a great variety of industries. We now invite you to take part in the growth of our agricultural sector. Investing in the Western Cape will give you a foot in the door to Africa.